Donahue of the International Court of Justice is laying out those provisional measures uh, that she issued today. Let's take this on with Thomas McManus, who's director of the International State Crime Initiative at Queen Mary University of London, joins us live from there. Uh, so, Thomas, lay out for us, if you would, to simplify it a bit, if you could. So the court has, has basically found that there is a case for Israel to answer uh, against genocide. And in the meantime, these interim measures have been issued. Yeah, that's right. There's, there's two kind of big things to take away. The first thing is the court has said, based on the case presented to it by South Africa, that there is now a plausible case of genocide in Gaza. So we now have a serious risk of genocide. And the Genocide Treaty is a special treaty, not like war crimes or crimes against humanity, where once any state hears of a serious risk, then they have to do everything they can to stop enabling that genocide and to start taking all action in their capacity to prevent it. And that applies to all states in the world. So there's going to be a huge amount of pressure um, on Israel and its supporting states following that part of the case. Uh, the other part we have is the provisional measures, which set out the actions that Israel have to stay, take now. The first thing they have to do is stop the killing if that killing is intended to destroy the Palestinians. Um, they have to instruct their army to do the same. But further than that, further than provisional measures we saw in the Burma, Myanmar, uh, Rohingya case, they have said that they must, the state of Israel must facilitate all necessary humanitarian aid and restore basic services. So that is rebuild the health service that has been destroyed inside Gaza. And I think that's a very strong statement as well. And they've asked Israel to report back to them in one month to let everyone know um, what progress they've made and, and what, what they're doing in order to uh, enact these measures. So I think it's a really uh, strong judgment from the court.